good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking before i start talking about the analysis i have to explain something these videos are still actually educational videos i hope you can guys open the chart by yourself and do the analysis just like what i'm doing because actually it is really accurate and i will show you today now uh, the comparison between my analysis for the last week and what happened actually by the end of the week so it's actually thankfully accurate and I want you to enjoy doing this analysis by yourself you don't have to just watch the videos you can, what you can do you can analyze uh, analyze the market by yourself and then compare it to my analysis so we can actually agree on something and you can uh, improve your skills in reading the market so again before we talk to the analysis also we need to talk about what happened last week last week the usd dollar has made some huge drops and that was obvious on so many pairs uh, for the usd including uh, pound usd euro usd uh, AUD usd uh, even the usd chf has made actually more than 230 pips almost 240 pips uh, of drop and that's actually a lot so what happened actually let me explain to you what really happened for the usd dollar last week so this is the forex factory page for the calendar and here we can check the news happening and this is what happened to the usd dollar on wednesday night uh, the federal open market committee uh, known as fomc statement uh, has been released and it was like a conference that will last for more than an hour and the news was actually bad for the usd dollar and it actually let me show you okay here uh, it actually affected uh, the gold prices let me show you the gold if we go to the gold we can see the gold has finally due to this bad news has finally broke this long-term resistance this resistance is there since we are talking about long time actually and it all started in 2014 and the first rejection was happened on 2016 then finally uh, what happened uh, the news to the USD dollar it was bad and also there is the gold was actually on this resistance right here right here and it helped the gold to actually break from this long-term resistance that's what happened to the USD dollar that's why you can actually see the, these big drops like that happened and so many trades actually um, was failing for that and unfortunately um, it was actually it led to the market to be unstable but anyway uh, there even so our analysis was actually accurate and I'm happy for that so if you go to the USD dollar uh, sorry your USD I'm just trying to fix my chart here so let me show you guys so for the euro USD on the daily chart I expected the euro dollar will rise more up to hit this previous resistance and that is exactly what happened we can see that the euro USD has reversed exactly on the same spot I said if you can check it this is the daily chart this is daily chart as well oh sorry this is GBP USD uh, just one second guys hold on sorry my bad what happened uh, it was honest mistake this is the chart for the euro usd and we can see it actually uh, what i said exactly happened and we can see here the euro usd has reversed and went and went up exactly as i predicted from this support so now that the euro usd has went up we need to see what will gonna happen later what i'm thinking that the euro usd will actually continue rising more up um, supported by the for the by the gold after breaking that resistance let me t tell you what we can do actually to predict how far the euro usd will rise more up we can go to the weekly chart and now it's actually a little bit more easier to analyze the market from this point now if we look at the left on the weekly chart we can see that there is a resistance right here and i have placed my line exactly on these resistance wicks and or even here uh, it was also previously a support and here we have it as a resistance now however 
I don't think that the euro USD will continue rising that much but this actually this engulfing candle opened for the last week uh, it's pretty strong as in, it's indicating that the market might actually continue to go more up now again I'm not expecting it to go more up that much it will go up a little bit let me explain to you uh, I think here only I believe the euro USD will rise again uh, about 60 pips before it actually start to go more down so I'm expecting that the next week we can witness that the euro USD will go up until hitting uh, the level 1.14233 uh, it might go a little bit more up to create the wick but in the end it actually should uh, continue to go more down now this is on the weekly chart if we check, uh, check daily chart it is now more obvious that the euro USD will go again indeed in this level hitting this resistance and then uh, falling more down so again euro USD just like that uh, let's analyze this more actually because I'm not happy with this uh, small analysis if you want we can do something interesting we can draw the trend line like that and right now what we are seeing is the breakout from this trend line so as you have learned from my video about the breakout strategy if you see the candle breaking out from the trend line it will continue going more up until hitting the nearest resistance before actually start falling more down to retest this level of the broken trend line now if the trend line retest has failed then the pair will actually continue to go more down and that is what I'm expecting it because uh, the euro USD again I'm telling you the USD was falling because of the bad news of the FOMC, FOMC. but what is happening now is the correction it's just a pullback because of the news next week uh, the correction will continue and the trend will actually continue to go more down I don't think it will last long time uh, in this bullish uh, momentum and the euro USD should actually go back to the actual direction and to actually fall down keep in mind that we have here a very strong resistance that cannot be broken easily so let's now go to the GPP USD for the GPP USD as well is actually similar uh, uh, analysis we can see this strong bullish momentum on the GPP USD and I'm expecting it to go a little bit more up until hitting this resistance on 1 point uh, sorry 1.28115 before it actually start to fall more down so the pound USD to go a little bit more up and continue to go more down until hitting on the support now what is the reason for this analysis the reason is we have here a resistance level has been broken out and it became a support as well and we can see the first touch happened here so we have already a resistance number one and uh, I'm expecting again for the pound the uh, USD to make the correction and just finish this pullback and to continue to go more down after hitting on resistance number two if you want to make things more interesting we can apply the trend line strategy to this uh, method so let me draw the trend line like that and let me drag it all the way until hitting this support this support right here like that so I place my trend line right on this support which has been broken out with this bearish uh, breakout candle became again resistance number one and also we can see that the same analysis is accurate and it's complying with the first analysis about the same level for the pound USD to hit this level on uh, creating resistance number two and then reversing more down so that is what I'm expecting for the GPP USD to go a little bit more up uh, and then fall down then going to the AUD USD it's not much difference uh, we are on the daily chart let's go to the four hour chart again for the AUD USD we have this resistance on this level which has been broken out and become the new support this support has been broken out by this bearish uh, long uh, breakout candle 
and now it's about to create its first first attempt to be the resistance number one. Almost same analysis for the Euro USD, GBP USD, and AUD USD is we having uh, the dollar falling a little bit more down before actually make the correction and continue rising. That's why we can see the other pairs will actually go a little bit more up, hitting these previous resistance levels, and then to continue fall more down. So the, the AUD USD should be really good for sell on 0 0.69441. Let's now jump to the USD CAD. USD CAD, however, let's check it out. Uh, daily chart is showing a good price action for reversal. So I believe that the USD CAD, uh, USD CAD should be actually fine for buying. But not now, we have to wait more until the pair go a little bit more down like 24 pips, hitting this support level, this one, hitting this support level on 1.31974 before actually buying the USD CAD and keep the position all the way until it hit this previous resistance right on one point, let me just tell it to you, exactly right here, 1.3440. We can keep the position of buying the USD CAD until hitting that resistance again. Don't buy the USD CAD immediately. Wait for it to, it might actually go a little bit up to hit this previous support and then go down uh, and then it will bounce on the support level right here before it actually continue to go more up. So again, USD CAD is good for buy on 1.31974. Let's now go to the USD GPY. USD GPY is showing really strong uh, bearish uh, momentum and it might be a little bit tricky. The problem with the USD GPY is, is bothering me for a long time is this long week here. This long week is telling you so many things. If you see it on the daily chart, it is something, and if you see it on the weekly chart, it is something else. So, this one, actually, it's indeed showing that this uh, support level, this one right here, this is a very strong support level, and we can expect that the pair should continue to go more down until hitting this support level on 104.785. However, What's expected from the USD GPY, and we can see this price action, is actually uh, to fall more. I don't think the USD GPY, GPY will fall, uh, sorry, it will rise up at all. Uh, it seems like the USD GPY has already created the retest of the broken support. We can see that right here. So this is a support number one, and this was support number two support number one and support number two this support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and the candle has actually went up again retesting this level and then fall more down now uh, if we go to the four hour chart we can see the price action here indicating for us that the pair should actually continue falling more down and therefore i believe that the usd gpy will continue to fall more down but not so long i believe it will be ranging on this support level and allow me to show you the exact uh, le levels where I'm expecting the USD GPY to be uh, ranging I believe just one second guys just to be accurate right here so this is weekly chart and I'm expecting and mark my words I believe USD GPY will be actually ranging on this level for quite long time before actually start to go more down so again USD GPY is good for sell but not for quite long time you can sell it for about 30 pips and that's it you can get out of the trade but don't keep it uh, going for a long time the pair as I'm saying is expected to be ranging for quite long time now it's time to talk about the USD CHF you oh my god by the way I forgot to compare uh, my analysis from the last week uh, okay, let me just do it qu uh, quickly, please. Uh, okay, so for the EURUSD, we expected the pair to go more up, as I said. 
you know something I will not do it now I will do it in the end of the video because uh, I don't want to confuse you guys let's go to the USDCHF so the USDCHF has actually made a strong uh, bounce going more down but I believe this bounce will not uh, continue going for quite for a long time it will actually bounce on this support exactly on 0 0.97314 before it actually shoot more up to hit this previous support that should be good about 100 pips I believe yeah 128 pips and it should be actually easy trade but we have to remember that USD is really uh, not stable due to the gold breaking out from that resistance but however these are the technical uh, reviews for what the market might actually uh, behave on this coming week so quick uh, review of what uh, happened last week compared to what happened actually this week uh, sorry my prediction last week to what actually happened last uh, this uh, last week <laughs> sorry <laughs> again I'm sorry uh, Euro USD um, I expected the Euro USD to go more up and indeed that is what happened exactly on the support level it went up uh, 180 pips as I predicted uh, going to the next pair GBP USD I expected the GBP USD to go more up on this support level right here and that is exactly what happened we can see the pair has actually bounced up as I said on this resistance uh, AUD USD I expected the pair to bounce on this support and that is exactly what happened as well the pair on this support level bounced and went up exactly to the same level I mentioned it to be and that is actually uh, very nice USD CAD also reversed exactly as predicted we can see this is the four hour chart I said that the USD CAD should be good for sell after hitting this resistance but uh, I also said it will be good for buy on this support however that didn't happen and that is due to the news but the reversal on this resistance happened exactly as I mentioned and if you entered with that uh, trade you could have earned uh, 67 pips of profit uh, the only uh, thing happened was the USD oh, sorry USD GPY also I predicted that the USD GPY will go a little bit more up before shooting more down but sadly the USD GPY uh, went down immediately it didn't hold to go more up to this resistance level as I said so that is fine and last one USD CHF I predicted that the pair will actually make a small bounce on this resistance before it go more up but what happened is it actually did the, the bouncing on that resistance uh, right here this resistance just like that on this resistance we can see the pair has actually reversed and went uh, down as I said but because of the FOMC news the pair just continue to go more down instead of bouncing to go more up so guys uh, I just wanted to share with you uh, this weekly analysis comparing to what I expected from the last week and to compare it also with, with, with what happened uh, on the same week and I hope the analysis the analysis will be good also for the next week I hope you guys are learning from this analysis and I wish you can uh, analyze it the same way I'm doing it's really easy it's really so much fun once you do it once you master it it will be so much fun for you and you can just uh, predict the market like read you can read actually read the market like an open book if you want me to include more pairs you can just tell me on the comments I will uh, give it attention because I'm actually feeling boring of uh, trading or sorry making analysis only for these major pairs but no problem for me at all if you want me to include more pairs please uh, tell me in the comments I will be glad to do that so guys uh, I hope it will be a very successful and profitable week for everyone and until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching